So here we are with Keith Farner. He's going to tell us who he is and what he's running for hey, and my, why. My name is Keith Farner. I'm a candidate for the Water Authority Office at Large. I've been on the Water Authority Board of Directors in the past uh, two terms. I served as not only a board of member, but vice chairman and chairman. Mission in life, ever since I was a small child growing up in Tiberias, has always been to clean up our lakes. And now I'm blessed to say that with a lot of effort, a lot of uh, dollars from the public and a lot of support, I can now walk out on my dock and I can look down two and sometimes three feet and I can see fish. You could never do that when I was a child. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face with a mask on. So I'm very proud of that. But we have a lot of responsibilities. Uh, one of the things we've done just recently, and this is a, a wonderful byproduct of clean water, we've got a lot more people using our lakes now. And if you're out on the lakes, you've noticed it, a lot of traffic. Uh, the boat ramps in South Lake County, uh, which the Water Authority helped fund with the city of Claremont, there's probably 500 more boats on that lake every weekend now. And that creates problems. But what we have done is the Water Authority in the past, we have funded two deputies on the water to help out. And this past workshop that we just had this week, we decided that there is a need and we have doubled our efforts and we have funded two more deputies out on the water to protect everybody and keep everybody safe out there. So the Water Authority uh, and everybody's talking about defunding the police. We are funding the police and the sheriff's office and it's got little to do with politics and everything to do with safety out there and we encourage everybody to use the lakes and be safe. So uh, you're funding them and not the sheriff? We fund four deputies out on the water. How many does the sheriff fund? I think he has four out on the water himself. But are they there or are they just always with their trailer and boat and they takes an hour to get to when somebody has well, a problem you know on the lake? Our county is a hundred miles long from the mm -hmm. north end of the county to the south end of the county. So if you're up on the St. John's River and you have to respond to the south end of the county, it may take a couple hours to get there. And we want to be responsive, and our Sheriff's Department has done a wonderful job, but it would be great to have deputies on the water in South Lake County on that chain, the Mineola chain, and have deputies on the water in the Harris chain, especially on the weekends when you got the boaters out there. Just their mere presence out there, I think, has a very calming effect in the way people behave out there. So we're always concerned about safety. But of course the main thing the Water Authority is cleaned up, concerned with is cleaning up our lakes in Lake County, which we consider and I consider to be our greatest natural resource. Uh, we've had some wonderful projects over the year that are continuing. Our NERF project on the Apopka Boat Clare Canal has had a direct and incredible impact on water clarity coming into our lakes from Lake Apopka. It's been a real blessing. What would you say to people who would ask and about the all these preserves that you guys have spent a lot of money on but then they're not being used by the public because you don't fund any kind of activity on them what should be done with all those the pieces of land that you bought to prevent you know, uh, uh, fertilizer from flowing into lakes that which is a good idea but then why not use the land there is a in fact we do have opened up many of our preserves but keep in mind a nature preserve is to preserve nature so we are very careful about opening up nature preserves to public use. And of course, my main concern is I'd like a, uh, a park ranger out there to keep an eye on the place because when you start opening up uh, uh, wildlife preserves to the public, it's just a matter of time before the wrong element go out there and, and bad things happen. So we're very conservative when it comes to our nature preserves. In fact, we have an issue right now in the South Claremont chain of lakes where they want to pull their boats up to one of our nature preserves and that's going to be a challenge because we want people to pull their boats up there. We want you on these chains of lakes and having a good time. But we have to protect the nature of our nature preserves and so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge but we'll work it out. And I think the public's supportive. I like the campaign of you pack it in, you pack it out. And uh, so we have, we have had some very good uh, success at uh, greatly diminishing vandalism in some of our properties. But it's a challenge. It is a challenge. And I understand what you're saying. The Water Authority now probably owns close to 7,000 acres in Lake County. Some of it is inaccessible to the public, of course, but uh, we are opening up properties and considering opening them up all the time. Uh, another issue is that uh, there's a fertilizer law that says you can only use landscapers commercial landscapers can use 
are restricted from using fertilizer certain months of the year, but there's nothing being done to educate the public uh, about uh, maybe not using f certain fertilizers or some alternative uh, when they're near the shore or on a canal or something like that. So that uh, those fertilizers then get into the water and cause some problems. Yeah, they you have a solution. Massive, they cause massive algae blooms. If you're dumping yeah. phosphorus into the... Uh, and, and this was something that I suggested years ago when I was on the Harris Chain Lakes Restoration Council that we need to look into fertilizer ordinances. And unfortunately, there were people on the board at that time. I think they made their living selling fertilizer, and they were greatly offended by it. But you know what? It has come to pass. So now if you go to your uh, department stores or Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever you get your fertilizer, you'll notice the fertilizer is low to no phosphorus. And that's the main item we've been targeting in our uh, lakes to so, get the phosphorus out. That's the main nutrient for algae production. Uh, so if you go into your stores and during the seasons, and now listen, the Water Authority does not police right. that type of effort. However, if you go into the prime uh, seasons of growing, uh, a lot of those stores don't carry that fertilizer when it could do its worst. So that's the best thing we can do is, if you don't have it available for the public to purchase, there's alt alternates and alternatives that they can do. So that is a good question, Vance. Okay. Um, now another issue is that a lot of people blame septic tanks, and there are many, including my lot, uh, for maybe overflowing or leaking and also letting effluent into the waterways. And yet, there's rarely any uh, review of all the ruptured uh, sanitation lines that the sewer lines that rupture, and they can fill an entire lake with more than any 100, 2,000 right. septic tanks. So, has there been any kind of move to address that situation? There's, there's always concerns and always moves to address that situation. And, and listen, city water, public water and city sewer is always the best way to go. In fact, it, it needs to be very much considered on all new development in Lake County. But you know, this question came up uh, years ago when I was on the Restoration Council about failing septic tanks and somebody said, how do you define a failing septic tank? And somebody on the council said, well, I usually define it when I flush the toilet and it backs up through my tub. You know, that's how you define your septic tank is failing, and you have to get it fixed. So I don't know when people start getting involved of uh, what's failing and what's not failing. I have to be very cautious about that uh, and very susceptible to somebody getting in there that it might be abusive and abusing somebody's rights. Because let's, put, let's face it, uh, of course, city water and city sewer are better for conservation reasons and environmental reasons. But all of a sudden you get somebody out there arbitrarily saying your septic tank's failing when you've had no problems. Uh, I have to question that. Okay. So is there any last things, new projects that you want to work on if you're reelected and uh, wrap it up? with? Uh... I'll tell you my main concern right now on the board, and this is for everybody that's environmentally concerned. We did a purchase of property recently that was a former muck farm. And the idea was to close down the muck form because it was our biggest point source of pollution on the chain of lakes. And now we have a director who I am uh, very much uh, in disagreement with that they want to turn that muck farm now into a peat mine and mine that property for our own good. And I'm thinking that peat's been there for 100,000 years. And now you're advocating becoming the biggest polluter in Lake County and instead of ending pollution in Lake County. So I would hope I have the support of people in Lake County that clean water is more important than a couple bucks that somebody might make with a peat mine on Lake County Water Authority property. I will never support anything like that, ever. And I need the public support on that as well. It's very serious. Okay, so, so what's your name again and what are my, you running for? My name is Keith Farner and I'm a candidate for the Lake County Water Authority. It is an at-large district. So there's five districts on the Water Authority that kind of correspond to the county commission offices and there's also two at large where you can live anywhere in the county to run for them and that's the one I'm running for and currently hold. Great. Thanks. Thank you Vance.